Let's jump into our big three stories of the day that we're following tonight. First of all, Erie City Council meeting tonight, voting on a resolution calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. It, of course, may not have any effect overseas, but it's having one here already. That's right. We'll tell you more about that. Plus, Project Neptune, an update about that. Uh, some news out of Gannon University tonight that our Lisa Adams is following. Exclusive report from her and Eclipse preparations. They continue tonight. We're talking caterers. First of all, Eclipse themed events. Second, how do you get there with the expected gridlock that we plan to see on April 8th? All right, let's jump into some of these big stories. We start with a national one. Boeing today announcing the leader of its 737 MAX program is leaving the company. In an email to employees, a Boeing executive announced leadership changes, which included Ed Clark, the head of the troubled program. The message said the moves were part of the company's, quote, enhanced focus on ensuring that every airplane we deliver meets or exceeds all quality and safety requirements. The aircraft maker has been in the spotlight since January when a door plug on an Alaska Airlines plane built by Boeing detached in midair. All 737 MAX 9 planes were grounded briefly in the U.S. for inspection as the FAA intensified its oversight of the company. In a story you'll only see here on Erie News Now, Gannon University has chosen an architect for its project Neptune at Blasco Library and says the project will forward at that location. They've selected Indovina Associate Architects of Pittsburgh. It's a firm designed uh, with the award-winning projects for the Pittsburgh Zoo and the PPG Aquarium. Some Gannon faculty took a tour of the library space today at Erie and the opposed supporters, the, those opposed to the lease that is, well they made sure to be there with their signs. Gannon will begin work with the architects to design what they say will be interactive public exhibit space for the community to learn about earth science and the Great Lakes sustainability. And once the designs are ready, they plan to share them in a series of open public forums and take input and feedback from the community. That is trending.